And can I give you a truth? This truth is enough for you to sing every day for the next month. And the truth is this. We can never let God down because we've never held him up. Deuteronomy 7, 7 says this. The Lord did not love you or choose you because you were great. Psalm 37, 23 and 24 says, The Lord delights in every detail of his people's lives. Though they stumble, they will never fall, for the Lord holds them by their hand. You see, we don't hold God up. He holds us up. And our relationship has nothing to do with us. It has everything to do with him, and we can't let him down. Why? Because he's the one holding us up. Uh, We can be thankful, always thankful, no matter what, because our relationship with God is not relying upon us. When Barney died, Mary can be thankful. Why? Because God loved her with tender mercy, even on that day. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know where you've been. But God's love for you has nothing to do with what you've done or what you're going to do. It's everything to do with his mercy. You're saying, Randy, why is this so important? Please hear me. This will change your life if you'll let it. Because he loves us, we don't have to be afraid of our failures anymore. You know why some of you haven't changed? Because you're so scared to admit that if you admit what a screw-up you are, then God's not going to love you anymore. And so you're going to pretend, you're going to stick your head in the sand, you're going to pretend that you're a great wife when you're not, you're going to pretend that you're a great husband when you're not, you're going to pretend that you're a great daddy when you're not, you're going to pretend that you're great in all these areas, you're going to pretend that you're a great steward of your body called God's temple and you're not, you're going to pretend that you take care of God's money good and you don't, you're going to pretend and pretend and pretend and pretend. Because you're convinced if you're ever honest with God that he'll never love you, he'll reject you like everybody else. And knowing, knowing that he chose us thousands of years ago, knowing what we were going to become and what we were going to do, it frees us to deal with our failures. You can go to him and say, you know what, God, I'm an addict. I'm addicted to porn. I'm addicted to drugs. I'm addicted to men. I'm addicted to women. I'm addicted to approval. You can go to him and say, oh, God, I am scared to death of my own shadow. I'm so scared of losing my wife. I'm so scared of losing this little girl in my life. I am so scared. You can tell him the truth. Why? Because his love has nothing to do with you. and has everything to do with him.